Hey, welcome to Well.com, the home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. You know, today we're going to talk about a filler material that you've requested. And it's called silicon bronze. Well, before we get started and showing you how to, how to use silicon bronze, I want to give you a little bit of information on it. It's got a couple of trade names, one of which you'll hear pretty frequently. It's called Everdoer. Now, this Everdoer, silicon bronze, really is not allowing you to weld, it's allowing you to braze using the TIG welding process. It doesn't have any flux on it. The argon that you use in your TIG torch is your shielding coverage. Now, one of the beauties of this is because you're not reaching melting temperature, you're not shrinking and distorting as much. So I want you to think about it when we start to weld these two materials. This one in particular, stainless steel, it's just 304 stainless or 304L. You know, it's got a melting temperature of 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to weld it to this little piece here that's already been plasma cut. And this is steel. It's just mild steel and it goes on a header or an exhaust uh, type of component. And the steel melts at 2730 degrees Fahrenheit approximately. So those are some pretty high temperatures. When we start brazing or Healy brazing, if you will, we're never going to reach that temperature because we're going to use this filler and the melting temperature of this is about 1800 degrees. Thus, when we start dabbing it, just like in TIG welding, we're not going to reach the liquidus, it's not going to shrink, it's not going to distort. So you can see this used a lot in the automotive industry. Uh, today we're going to show you steel on stainless steel and episodes after this. We're going to show you some other applications where you can use silicon bronze. So uh, let, let's get started. I'm going to get my gear on and uh, get the cameras close. And you can see now when I'm dabbing, and I've already pre-tacked this part right here. So when I'm dabbing, what I'm looking for is the base of the puddle. I'm not going to get to full liquid. I'm just going to get cherry red. And I'm going to dab the filler, and it's going to take. And then you're going to dab just like in TIG welding. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just dabbing just like you do TIG welding. And I'm only doing about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and I get out of position. And I taper off, use the post flow argon, turn the part, and then start all over again. The filler melts first, then it attaches itself to the steel and stainless steel. And you can see it's pretty. Pretty fast travel speed. It's actually kind of a fun weld. Just you don't have to bur worry about burning through, especially the thin material that I've got for the uh, stainless tubing. If I were welding this right now, having to melt that base metal, there'd be some problems with contamination from that uh, plasma cut. And you can see it just it wets out very nicely. You know, this, this whole weld, this whole braze, really it's only taking a couple of minutes for the whole, the whole operation. Okay, so I've overlapped. I back off. Extinguish the arc, hold the post flow there. And we're done just that quick.
Okay, now that we've finished this weld, I want you to take a look at the color because it really is good looking. It's got a nice bronzy color to it. It wire brushes very nicely. But uh, I also want to give you a couple of precautions. There's, there's certain applications that you, you just don't want to use silicon bronze. If you get into a fracture critical or, or a high stress part, you really don't want to use this filler. Just because it welds so nice, you need to know it doesn't have the tensile strength that steel does. In fact, it has really about half the yield that steel does. It'll start yielding at about 24 KSI, and the max tensile you're going to get out of it is about 50 KSI in strength. Now, the nice thing about it is it's got like 30% elongation. So it'll fluctuate, it'll give, it's just very, very forgiving. So you're going to see us using this on car restorations and things in the very near future. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.